we got to talk about NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA just continues to power the market this year. Uh, we had a guest on CNBC yesterday saying it's the biggest momentum stock ever. How are you advising clients to invest in NVIDIA and this AI trade overall? So we're we're bullish on AI. We've been so for for quite some time. Um, I, I think the the best advice that I can give right now is that it, it appears that value valuations are beginning to get a little bit extended. And and when you look at the S and P in general, you have five companies that are responsible for almost thirty percent of the index itself. So that over concentration or narrow leadership in the S and P is also beginning to kind of trickle into client accounts and investor accounts, where they see an over concentration in in companies like Nvidia. And 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 so we're we're just cautioning investors and saying, hey, you know, look at the macro economic um, data that that is being set forth in front of us. And and when you see opportunities to take some chips off to the table, definitely not sell out completely, but maybe start beginning to uh, take some profits as we see economic data coming in. Okay. Uh, so, so you're lower. advising a little profit taking, but I do have to ask, uh, stock splits coming up. Uh, the thought is that it's going to get a lot of excitement from retail investors. Are your clients getting more excited about it, even as you're saying take money off the table about the stock split and the chop, the stock essentially being cheaper, even though it's, you know, it's not fundamentally changing the company. Correct. I think just the, the price change due to the stock split will allow it to be more affordable for for more retail investors. And, and so that would be the opportunity that we're recommending when you see that uptrend once the stock splits and more demand for the company comes in, then that would be an opportunity to possibly take some chips off the table and, and just take some profits um, with, with capital gains at, at the current rates. OK, um, but you are also advising clients to actually invest a little bit deeper in the so-called picks and shovels trade, the energy when it comes to AI. And actually, you're, you're kind of bullish on uranium right now. So we're going to show some uranium miner ETFs. I'm not saying you're advising these, but just going to show a couple of them. Um, how would you play uranium um, uh, for investors and what part of, of the, you know, the energy play in AI do you think should be part of a portfolio? So when you look at the greater macroeconomic trends and you look at the energy usage coming out of two key um, things, one is AI and the other is the cryptocurrency, the demand is extremely high. Cryptocurrency energy is up over 3,000% in usage. Uh, internet users up over you know close to 80% as well. And so when you see this higher demand for energy and energy-related um, usage, then I think there's an opportunity to begin to play clean energy. Uranium happens to be a considered a clean energy, albeit some people don't don't put it in that category, but it is, it is it can create a, quite a tremendous amount of energy at you know a, a very little exposure to the environment, and and so we're we we would recommend looking at opportunities from a valuation standpoint. Many of the research uh, resource and basic materials are still relatively valued, even with the, the more recent uptrend. So I think this is a longer trend in energy related to AI consum energy consumption usage.